Hello artists, here is Miss Dolores. We artists get ideas to make art, but how do we get those ideas? And where do ideas come from? We can say that there are three main sources of inspiration. Sources of inspiration are those things that inspire us, those things that make us want to be artists, to create things. The sources of inspiration are observation, I look at something, pay close attention to it, and make art about it. Or memory, I remember something and make art about it. I remember when I was a little girl, I used to play in a field full of daisies in the summer. It was lovely. I would love to make art about it. Finally, we have imagination. I imagine something and make art about it. I imagine a flower with a golden center and petals that are actually eyes. I would love to make a collage about it. Today, we are going to explore our power of observation. We are going to look at something and make art about it. There is an artist with a wonderful power of observation. She looks at things really well and makes art about it. Duna Rolando is an artist originally from Argentina who lives in Berlin, Germany. She observes nature and studies it, paying attention to every shape, detail and color. She is not just copying reality, it is much more than that. She reveals the truth about a person, a vegetable, a flower. When I see her paintings, it feels like I am looking at a flower for the first time. In a way, she changes reality. All of a sudden, it is like the flower is a universe. Like looking at something through a magnifier and being able to discover its wonderful secrets. Duna really pays attention. She observes, and is not just looking, is looking and feeling, is looking and understanding, trying to get to the soul of what we are looking at. Let's try it. Let's use our power of observation to make art. I have tempera paint and all my tools. I will paint a sunflower, which has a center and petals around it. If it helps, you can draw first. I will be looking at the flower often. I have to make brown. There are different ways to do it. The easiest for me is yellow, red, and black. It needs more yellow. I get it from the side so I don't get my yellow all mixed. Let me see. A dark center, almost black, then a ring around it, sort of greenish. Some artists like to reproduce what they see, almost like a photograph. It is up to you how precise you want to be. I want to get the right colors and the general shape with quick brush strokes. I make green with yellow and blue. By the way, the singing voice you are hearing is Duna. She also sings. Some artists are musicians. You kind of hear the colors in her voice too. I switch brushes as I need. For small details, I use a small brush. Observation is truly important to discover details, and details make your work special. A big brush for the background.
Most artists take photographs and use them to work from observation. I highly recommend it. It is a great way to train your observation skills. And if the photograph is on a screen, you can zoom in if you need to study a detail. It also helps when you are working on an animal. An animal is not going to stay still for long. A toy animal works too, and you can see it from different angles. We can train our power of observation. It takes practice, but once we practice, we start noticing things we didn't see before. And remember, one, two, three, I am an artist. Thank <laughs> you.